This is Twit. So, as you may or may not know, you're about to know now, Apple held its annual Worldwide Developers Conference keynote today. It was chock full of some good stuff. We'll start with the big news first, the HomePod. HomePod. <laughs> that is the rumored Siri speaker that will be available in December. Apple recently pushed this. They, they really pushed the sound quality of the device with its seven speaker array of tweeters. Mm. That's a musical thing, tweeters, not people tweeting on Twitter. <laughs> uh, as I, you probably know this, Jason, and most of you also know that, but it's not actual people tweeting inside, although that would be wonderful. Uh, also, real time acoustic spatial awareness that so will determine the room that oh, it's in. Look at that. And play music accordingly. The device will, of course, also work as a home assistant like Amazon's Echo and Google Home. So it was one of those many moments that happened uh, in the keynote. Um, is it a one more thing? No, it was another thing. Another thing. He said thing. he was going to have six things and he had six things. Okay. Um, so he really wants to be, you know, he's he's come, he's being more honest, mm -hmm. more honest <laughs> Tim Cook, a more honest Apple. But it was one of those moments where they come out with a thing and everyone's clapping and oh, wow. And of course, there's all the dissenters who say, you know, Everybody has that already, you know, th and this one is, it's usually something more simple, but this is a big one. I mean, most people know that Amazon already has a home speaker and Google already has a home speaker. And of course they're just coming in third place. But the big question is, will they become, will it become more popular because it automatically syncs with Apple Music, because it's Apple, because it's pretty, because it sounds better. I don't know. I mean, I, I think the sound better thing, I think we've learned that that there's not a ton of people who care about that. I mean, there's a lot of people who care. I mm -hmm. guess a ton. There's If you put them all on a scale, it, they would weigh a ton, of course. <laughs> but percentage-wise- We're not going to try. We're not going to test that theory, but- yeah, Percentage-wise, and especially newer, younger generations are not as concerned with sound quality. Yeah. And I know there's a lot of people there, I want sound quality, I want good speakers. But also there's the question of, could you get speakers that cost less than this? Probably. Yeah. It's the, $360. It's, yeah, it's, it's right around there. Yeah. You know, Apple Apple creates premium hardware. That's that's their brand, is that they create premium hardware and there's a lot of people that are willing to, to pay the extra price because it has an Apple logo on it. And uh, by the way, because they do a really good job building hardware, like you took, you, you saw the internals of this thing. And like my, my top note here was just that Apple hardware under the hood is fascinating to me. It's so cool to look at it and see how they develop their hardware in house. Of course, that's all under the hood and that's nerdy stuff. Um, but I, I'm always fascinated when I see that. Um, yeah. I mean, and you know, they're, they're doubling down on the idea that this isn't necessarily a home assistant computer competitor first series in there and you could do that and I'm sure over time that will get expanded into other functionality to kind of go toe to toe uh, hopefully you know from their perspective uh, against Amazon Echo and the Google Home but they're really focusing on that sound quality aspect and that this is a speaker first and foremost it's almost more of a competitor to a Sonos system like the Sonos Play 3 instead of you know a competitor to Echo uh, but uh, Engadget was there Chris Velasco said if and he, he got to kind of listen to the difference and he said if listening to the HomePod was like listening to a CD then audio through the Echo sounded like an AM radio and, you know, I mean, there's a big cost difference between those two. I think you're absolutely right. For some people, for many people, uh, having, you know, a $150 device that plays music when you need it to, and that's good enough, is going to be perfectly fine. But yeah, there, there are people that will buy it because it's an Apple branded device and because it actually probably sounds really great. Yeah. And they, I mean, they also push the idea that it's a musicologist in your home. So, you know, it will recommend uh, songs that you need to be listening right, yeah. to. It will know, you know, what, what songs you're asking for and that sort of thing. Do you think, do you think Apple releasing it as speaker first, Siri second, is, that's some sort of an admission on Apple's part that they realize that Siri is not as strong as it probably could be? Or do you think they'd push it the same if Siri was stronger? I don't, well, I mean, it's just a d really different market. What, what, so there's, there's three big ones, right? There's the Amazon Echo, mm -hmm. the Google Home, and then this HomePod. And if you think about these companies, we always lump them together, but their goals and their, uh, you know, 
the companies themselves are very different. Their yeah. bottom line is different. You yeah. know, I mean, Apple how they, sells, yeah, how they generate their business, right. the data behind it, all that. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, but, uh, and, you know, I always talk about like Amazon's also trying to sell toilet paper. Like, am I going to be able to buy paper towels and toilet paper through my HomePod? Uh, but I don't, I don't know. I don't think that Apple really cares that much yeah. about that. That's mm-hmm. not their bottom line, nor is it Amazon's bottom line there. I mean, Amazon and Google are, you know, very interested in the cloud and, um, Google's very interested in advertising. So really, I mean, if they're just, it makes sense that there's good hardware inside because mm-hmm. they sell hardware and they want to keep people in the ecosystem. And it's not, it is not a big deal for me to say uh, to my Amazon Echo, pair Bluetooth. And then, mm-hmm. you know, I have access to everything sure. on my iPhone. I have Apple Music. Uh, but, you know, I, I think for some people, it would just be nice to say, you know, play the Beatles, um, you know, play the most popular song in 1979, you know, play Mm -hmm. that uh, song that I like that was, you know, in the soundtrack to, uh, you know, it's a wonderful life or, you know, and and Siri is good at those things. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of things that she's not good at, but she is good at those things. Yeah. That might be enough. Also, um, should mention before we move on, uh, they kind of pointed out kind of the security aspect of this, that it's not listening to everything that you say. It only responds to, Hey, S, I will just say that. Um, and then, you know, it wakes up and, and that's the only thing that it sends, which I think is really actually no different than the others. It's not like Google Home or Amazon Echo is constantly sending everything you say up to the cloud. Well, it's also monitoring for the wake word. That is up for debate, I think. That based on proof or based on suspicion? Based on proof and research. Because I think sometimes it is, I think it is always listening. And because you, the they've, d- they've done... Right. Right. For the yeah. wake word. But well, sometimes if too. you, I, I think that, I don't know, I need to do some more research on this. It's been a long day. I but understand. I do I think understand. that they're, I think they have proven that they are listening a little bit before just to, to know, I don't know how we know this, but. Okay. Um, I, I will say that one, one thing that I see from what they're doing here is that they're encrypting uh, everything that gets sent up. But not only that, they're anonymizing all of those voice commands. And I think that's that's kind of a big deal. And actually what you were talking about earlier as far as like the different companies having their own kind of priorities along the way, Apple's priority is not knowing every single thing about you. That never has been. Um, that is definitely what Google is all about with their kind of vast amounts of storage of data about you and how you browse the internet and everything like that. So their strengths are different. So Apple can then anonymize, you know, completely anonymize these voice commands and detach it from your account. And it just doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. You know, whereas with Google, it, it matters a lot. So, well, I guess if, if Google, I mean, Google has to know that you said, Hey, first, mm-hmm. right. So then isn't it always listening? Well, but how to, but that's what, I guess that's the the differentiation. How does Apple do that then if it's not listening? It also has to know. So So it's always listening, but not sending. Yeah. The difference is what is it actually sending? Mm -hmm. And I think, I think the the reality on these devices is that it has to always have that mic open to catch that wake word. Otherwise Mm -hmm. it would never hear it. Uh, What does it then send? I think there's a, there's a, there's a, perception that some of these home devices are constantly sending an endless stream of data up into the cloud. And I don't think that's actually happening. They're, they're listening on device. And once they hear what they need to hear, then that query is sent into the cloud. Okay. Well, if you guys know, send us an email, TNT at twit.tv, because I had thought that they were, it was constantly listening and sending, but not doing anything with it, but it was always there. Cause that was the case with the, the guy who they were going to use that information, like what happened right before and what happened right after with his Mm -hmm. Amazon Echo, that they uh had all that information and they could Mm -hmm. use it or not use it. But that case never went because the guy, um, I guess, you know, he he went ahead and said, yeah, take whatever you want because there was nothing. They weren't, you know, they were listening, but I wasn't saying like, how do you murder someone? (laughs) (laughs) Which you probably don't want to say that. Just just a little tip.